So the question is, do I just hook up, just hook this up wired? I, I don't know if it'll work here. It probably will work right here, but normally does not work across the room. Let me uh, tweak this a little bit. Normally does not work across the room, so usually I use it wired, but I guess I'll just wire it up. So otherwise I have to worry about whether Windows is even going to detect this thing. Why on earth? Yes, I can de die. Oh, I thought she said candy. Candy happy. You candy happy? I haven't even started playing anything yet. Uh... Mario? Join us. <laughs> uh, I got, I got a Red Bull. So yeah. Well, there she goes. I'm fucking tired. I'm trying to not be asleep all day. <laughs> all right. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully no technical problems, but we'll see. Oh, they tell you to play it with a gamepad. What do you know? It's probably going to launch at 4K or something, which is not a good idea. <laughs> Might be a good idea, but probably not. I've got a mouse cursor in the center of the screen. Guys, <laughs> profile. You had a nice thing going here, but I don't know anything about the game other than it's a space game. Uh, it's a first-person game. Somebody spoiled me that I guess it might have scary things in it. Um. probably don't want this to be at 4K. I mean, I don't know whether it'll run okay, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set it to 1080p. And, uh, we'll go with that. Yes, this is my first time playing. Hello, all you new people. It's, it's one of the tags, although from what I have learned, uh, Twitch will spam the uh, the tags with a whole bunch of other tags related to whatever game you pick, so it doesn't really matter what tags I put in there. I should have put first playthrough in the thing, but I, I keep forgetting. I'm like, oh, put a tag in, because I still do that, even though it's irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. Um, first impression, the title screen is nice. It had a nice kind of Thing going through there. I don't like that this thing pops up that's like enter profile. That's really lame. Yeah, I did put first playthrough as a tag. I'm just saying that like there's English, there's adventure game, overworld. So they're not like I didn't pick those tags. That's just what Twitch put on it. I understand it's for multiple saves. <laughs> I make video games. I just, uh, I just don't think that it's necessary. Um, okay. Okay, hit X. I have to hold X to know what's going on. Nothing's working. Is my cable even working? <laughs> Admittedly, this cable is kind of finicky. I'll have to 
protected the keyboard. Um, oh, there we go. If it does that again, then I'll look for another cable. Look around and move. Oh, it's kind of juddery. Even at 1080. <laughs> I have a trusted mod who can delete spoilers. Uh, who's played the game that is uh, one of my usuals? And I'll mod you. <laughs> He's still fishy. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise I would mod main GI, but I don't think main GI has played it, so. Uh, uh, let's see. I'll mod laser pointers. <clears throat> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> okay, it worked. All right. Congratulations, laser pointers. Um, I'm not sure why this is juddery. It's a bit frustrating. Hmm. I mean, I guess everything's very high, but... Let's try, uh... not helping. Let's see if I go crazy low if it stops. Okay, so I can get there with resolution. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding a resolution that'll work. God dang. I don't want to like tweak settings all day. I'll do that some other time. Okay, that seems good. Uh, added your stream to a Discord community to watch new players play this game. We have strict rules. Okay, that's cool. It's like the uh, Secret Witness Society or whatever. Why am I buzzing? Oh. Alright. Roast Marshmallow. Talk to Slate. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out of the stars I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. Suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. It really seems like about like two minutes ago. <laughs> what do you say? You ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, why is this text blurrier than the other ones? Um, that was only a problem one time, then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, I need to get the launch codes from Hornfell's observatory. I gotta turn this down a little bit, it's too loud. Uh, before you can lift off, just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Oh my god, we got, we got first person body. Should never do first person body. It's too expensive. Remember a YouTuber who has a 10 minute segment reviewing the settings menu? Did they just review the settings menu? <laughs> well, I just I just figure people don't want to watch me fuck with the settings to try to get the game to run better, right? So I figured I would just tweak the resolution down until it seemed less stuttery. There's still a little bit of a stutter, but... Roast that marshmallow. Get in there. That's good. Nom nom nom. Alright, peaches. Are you gonna hang around my lap? Or are you gonna run off? Oh my god, you're so fat. <laughs> this is the most demanding cat. This 
Breath of the Wild too? I don't think so. Well, that was weird. Oh, is that like Shadow a Tree? Oh my gosh. Shadows move so quick. Alright. <laughs> Either sit down or <laughs> or don't be just Okay, uh, it's still a little stuttery, but whatever. Like I said, I don't want to muck with it. It's really dark over here. So, got a couple options. This feels like this is on a rounded, small planet. Just kind of slightly triggering my motion sickness. <laughs> launch codes. Okay. First person jumping where it matters how long I hold the button before I jump. Okay. That's very weird. I have to say. I don't know about that. Uh, hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space, aren't you? You better not change your mind. Uh, hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Wow. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only it's less likely to start a fire. Okay. Fly the model ship around. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Oh, zooming. This game is already like motion, tri motion sickness city all over the place. <laughs> simulator here. It's kind of hard to land because you can't really tell when you're close to the surface. There's not like a clear spotlight below the thing. Kind of be nicer. Here we go. Whee! Going to orbit! <laughs> Stream latency is so good, you see chat pop up before it appears on the Twitch chat. Well, that's good. <laughs> My internet does have good latency. Probably like 60 milliseconds or something. Weirdly enough, weirdly enough, LTE gets really good latency. We got down here. Poor fee. You look just like that other guy. Hey, oh, Hashling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Well,. My internet was bad a couple weeks ago because it was some ISP stuff, and I totally, essentially, I've switched ISPs, but not really, so. But in any case. It's also because it's like, it was low priority data before. Anyway, I don't worry about it. Um, no, go away. You keep hopping up in my lap, and then you just want to hop back down, so. 
<laughs> um, let's see. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark. A true hearthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from... Jesus, that water is so loud. Uh, stems from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. oh, we can't go in the building. Fake game, 0 out of 10. <laughs> oh, God. That, this, 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 like circular planet thing really is kind of a uh, motion sickness trigger for me. Um, you're actually blasting off that thing, huh? They really don't explode so often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mike's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Postcards from orbit, satellite camera. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting, orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Okay. This looks like the village. Games always have a curse of very loud water. I need a big old flashlight. The water's really violent. <laughs> okay. Is this water? Yeah, this jumping is... I don't know, man. So it's launch day, huh? I was gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. And the platform... Oh, sorry. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it in the platform of the ship's launch foam's getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out with the space program. Just say the word. Uh... Launchpad's flammable? Huh, you didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Alright. It's really dark over here. I need a flashlight. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Okay. Can I go back here? Okay. I'm going here. Can I crouch? I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> That's like a pole or something. I thought it was a rope. Oh my god. How do I get out of here? <laughs> ah! Oh yeah. Sorry, the bot's gonna spam stuff about my, uh, the game that I'm making. Maybe all right. I'm supposed to find some launch codes, man. I can't read this chicken scratch. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Well, that's kind of stressing. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Arthian history. It is, in fact, all that remains. Even it is not in such great condition. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised they didn't tell me like how to turn the flashlight on. Maybe they did, and I just didn't notice. Oh well, I figured it out. Oh, we can't see the image on the back side of the thing. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Um, okay. 
Let's actually, like, explore over here properly now. Good nice. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure, I made all their instruments, you know. Let's see, there's Church drums, Rebeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. goodies back here. You say nothing. You say nothing. Hello, astronaut. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and it's not supposed to be thrown around like that. It just feels like they've got um, uh, Text Mesh Pro and they configured it wrong. That's what it looks like as far as the, for the font. Like some of the fonts are like blurry. Anyway. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we, please? We'll even let you be it. Sure. Woohoo! Okay, here's the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins! Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Ah! Oh. I don't know why I looked at the drawing. Okay. Looks like they're right there. Oh, you found me! But my hiding spot was super good. Don't worry, you have to find both of us, okay? Waterfalls are loud. Um, okay. Okay. So there's a walk button. You know, I thought about defaulting in my own game to run. I was like, maybe I should default to run. I don't know. There is a, a button, or a, an option to switch it. But... I won? I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. I guess her font's small because she's quiet. Well, I don't know. It seemed like a she to me, but... <laughs> Sarves the hardest puzzle in the whole game. Water wheel. Okay, water wheel back to 10 out of 10. Okay? Every game of the water wheel is 10 out of 10 in my book. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to put a water wheel in Taiji. I still could, theoretically, but I decided I would proceed with the assumption that I would not make a water wheel. Thanks for playing. Yeah, damn, the game's already over. I can't believe it. Well... It was fun, guys, so we found those kids pretty quickly, and uh, we all know that's the only thing in this game, so. 
they're gender neutral. That's what I was wondering. I was like, they look kind of gender neutral, but the the for some reason I imagined that that one was a girl. All right, fine. I'll put you up here. But you better not hop down in five seconds again. <laughs> oh, maybe I could do tiny kitty cam. Tiny kitty cam. It's kitty butt cam right now. <laughs> you thought the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the pose. Yeah, she's too. Come on. We, 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 we have to get you in, in view for kitty cam to work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing up. This water is... It is... Looks nice. Oops. Uh, how do we... There we go. I wish this game had, like, resolution scaling options, but I guess my game doesn't either. But my game's 2D, so... Resolution scaling, I guess, is a little bit hard to do, but you, it would eliminate the, like, blurry text problems, presumably, while... Well, what did I just miss? Danger! Inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. Good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Wormfells. Oh, thanks for the bits. Volk games for kitty treats. Oh dear. I can get I can get the kitty treats out. I almost never give her treats. She's spoiled enough. <laughs> Hold on, I'll have to put her down to get the kitty treats. I have to hide away the kitty treats and all the food, or else she will get them. I have to spend money on treats. I'm going to give her a kitty treat. Nobody ever... I don't think anybody has literally ever cheered on this channel, to be honest. So. Come here. Oh, she's gone. Oh, there she is. Let's, let's, let's uh, feed you a kitty treat. You want a kitty treat? You want a treat? You want a treat? Or you want to have up my hand? Hmm? She ate the treat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're, we're moving along. Okay. Uh, take a snapshot. Oh, I see the ghosts. Why does it have take snap snapshot twice? That's really weird. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Aim camera under the kitty cam, yeah. Oh, there she goes. <clears throat> oh, thanks for the biddies, main GI. You can spam with as many bits as you want. Ah! It's a controller. Okay, I'm gonna get. I think I have another one of these cables. Because this one, I think, is starting to become defunct. Uh, as they often do. Let's see. Hopefully it's not the port on the controller. Or maybe worth it to hook it up wirelessly, but I just didn't want to deal with Windows and that it's going to be like, what's going on? Okay. Alright. That looks alright. Ah, we 
get the sunrise. That's nice. This game is back to being uh, juddery. Let me see whether or not this setup helps the judderiness. Oh, it does. Okay. We'll do that then. I don't, I don't have kitty cam set up in this scene, but... Oof, that, that, that spheroid thing is going to take some getting used to here. So much stuff on this little planet. Why does this font look so... weird? I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Gotta move kitty cam to bottom right. Yeah, well, I don't have kitty cam on here, but if I if I set it up, then I will. Hotas. Hotas. That Hotas. Hello, Gossin. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everybody should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. That's not what Slate says. Oi, you know better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. They're still sore. I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Planned it would throw off the thrust-to-weight ratio. Honestly. One of these days, I'm going to throw off Slate's thrust-to-weight ratio. So listen, there's a satellite, which is... Definitely not just a piece of broken my equipment. <laughs> Set up down in the zero G cave and it's in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't. As long as you're confident that you can make ship, rip ship repairs in space. Uh, sure. Cool, get to it. Try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. So we go down here. Down into the cave. Whoa. It's like a it's like imaginary space. Right. Whoa. Oh, now they tell me how to use the flashlight. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my god. We're closer to the core, so the the like the rounding is more. Zero G cave. Suit up. Alright. I'm gonna have to get... I, for some reason I feel like left should be up. What? Huh? You, if this is your first time playing, I highly recommend you change the chat to subscriber only. You don't want randoms ruining this game for you. Okay. We're all poor, though, and if this ch if chat is this slow, I should be able to handle it. I guess you could do a follower only if it's really that big of a problem, but even if someone spoils something, they'll just get muted and banned and it won't be a problem. Yeah. Zero G. I understand. Well, I can put it as follower only, if you'd like. I don't really know how to do that, though. I've never done that. <laughs> There's never been call to do it. This cave doesn't seem very zero-G. Hey, bro. Hey, hey. Nice of you to drop on down. I'm getting some zero-G time in. So you're going in there? In the cave? Ugh. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. Yeah, I don't know why, like, I don't know if you can tell on the stream, but, like, the top line is, like, blurry, and then the bottom line is not. It's weird. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't even, I, I, I might, I don't even know if I have subscribers. <laughs> but, uh, I'll look into it if, if I need to. Uh, at least do the follower only thing. This guy's missing part of his ear. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Now I got the hand sweats. Okay, so is this the cave? 
Oops. I thrusted the wrong way again. Oh. Now we're in the zero-g cave. Down in the Earth's core, where it's still warm. Oh my god. Lock on to it. Oh, there we go. How do we repair? Do I have repair tools? Oh god. Get in there. Get good. Okay, if I want to roll, I do this. Okay. Yeah, that rolling. I don't know, man. We'll have to see about that. Uh, where are the other things? Oh my god. Uh, most people in the community are great, but I saw a couple streams where people explaining where to go and solutions to puzzles. Yeah, if somebody does that, I mean, I would warn them. And then uh, if they kept doing it, I would ban them. Uh, okay. I see how it is. Oh my god. Ah. Hard for me to locate it by sound because uh, both my speakers are over there. The ideal thing would be for me to like. Well, I need to get like a USB hub so I can just move stuff around more easily. So I don't have to like. Okay. Um. Oh. Hear something more loudly. Thing is brokey. And now it's gone. Oh, I'm almost out of fuel. This is no good. We're gonna die in space. Sorry. Uh, mod just needs to be tweaking on Red Bull all night. Don't worry, I'm cracked on Pepsi. I know sometimes streamer thinks out loud, and some people take that as an invitation. Start questions to us with actual questions so we don't get confused. Um, yeah, assume if I ask a question that is rhetorical, um, and not actual. It makes me feel better. Consider this story to be one of the best stories in games ever penned. So I'm super defensive of it. Don't be afraid to ban people. Well, small praise. Can't believe you just spoiled that you go places and also have solutions. Okay. Seems alright right now. But if stuff gets hairy, then we can figure it out. But follower only would probably be reasonable. I just don't really. Whoa, God. I don't really know how to do that. Maybe, maybe it's just a thing over here. How does this work? Follower only chat. Here we go. Uh, let's just put that on for uh, a day. Is that all right? Follower only. That should help a little bit, because we'll see somebody follow before somebody shows up and starts talking. <sighs> and I don't know where this other broken thing is. Oh, here we go. Oh god. Ah! What? I am clicking the left stick. It's not working. What? That wasn't a training simulation. Was that a training simulation? I thought I was actually repairing something. Oh god, I gotta get out of here. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Alright, 10. 
10, 10 aided. Did they get snuffed out? Um, I don't have it set to, like, hold things for review. I don't want to, like, go too wild with it, but... But I figure that'll at least do some, uh, give you, give you some heads up. Can you set people to VIP if that's less than talk past restrictions? I think so. I think so. Well, it's... It's followers only, so all you have to do is click the follow button, and then you can chat. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do subscribers only. It's. It's. It. That'll literally just be something to let. Uh. It is set to one day. What does that mean? I don't understand. Oh, you have to be following for one day. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that meant. Sorry, I didn't read the thing. Uh, let's just do zero minutes then. Okay. Sorry about that. I, di I didn't understand how that worked. I thought that was like, how long do I want it to be in followers mode? Okay, I'll just do zero minutes. I if you want, I can do it for more than that. Like a couple minutes or something, if you think that would be wiser. I don't know. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't understand. <laughs> like I said, I've literally never done that before. I mean, I, I've never had a reason to, so. But people will be allowed to click the follow button and then chat immediately, but they have to at least click the follow button. Which hopefully should rule out some trolling and at least make it to where you can tell. Um, ah, okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's not run out of fuel. I guess that's all we needed to do down here, really. Yeah, I know, I understand, but a bunch of you people are new, right, so... I don't want to prevent you from being on a chat. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Well, I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. Hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into training you. Got it? Now that's just going to be in my mind, uh, whoever it was who said they thought this was the best written game ever, or whatever. <laughs> Hi, astronaut! You know that patch of ghost matter inside the front fence? Ghostin said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a, 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 a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome! Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it so, hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Bad ending. Yeah, it rolls credits like fucking... Uh, near. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Oh my god, there's just so much shit going on. Ah! The tiny sun. Tiny magma planet. No my ruins. Quantum Grove Crater. Geyser Mountain. Young Bark Crater. I don't even know. I was guessing I'm supposed to go to the observatory. Oh. What is this? Aim? 
fire. Okay. Not really. Not much over there. have I been game devving for? 22 years? <laughs> I guess. Something like that. Maybe. video games since I was like nine years old, so I'll let you do the math there. Uh hmm. Oh, hello astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sounds from space lately? There are. My signal scope is set to the outer wilds ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the traveler's music. Last night I heard Rebecca's banjo coming from Biddle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. of game idea that I had a while ago. Not the early frequency thing, but just the little little planetoids thing. My mantle? Of course not. Mantling is not allowed. Kudos. I did a year of games programming in college, but it was just too much. Transferred to teaching instead. <laughs> I did a year of teaching in college, and then I dropped out and decided that I was just going to make games full time. How does this look? Can't really do anything, can I? There. So. Anyway. Alright, so we're supposed to go to the observatory, I guess, and get the heck off this rock. Whee! Twenty twenty and twenty twenty one felt just felt like dropping out. Dude adds. Ow. Okay. I guess there is fall damage. So old. Yeah. I mean, I've been working on just this game for like seven years. <laughs> so. It is what it is. Well, not this game, but Tai Chi. Alright, let's get out of here. I guess it's normal to walk around in this game with the flashlight, because it's, it's often quite dark. Not having second thoughts, are you? Where are the launch codes again? Orangefells has the launch codes. Should be up at the observatory like usual. I'm starting to think they live there. Okay. So, I, I forgot about that. Can't go back up this way, can I? Eh. No. Yeah, it's all me. It's all me. Where's Hornfells? Hmm. hmm. I guess that's the observatory up there, so I think I just walked right past it. Which is what I was a little concerned about when I was walking down. <laughs> I 
Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to purge everybody. Over there. Okay. Think I I think I know what I'm doing now. But yeah, thanks for the thanks for wish listing it, and hopefully it looks interesting to you. Yeah, there's something. Maybe it's just the resolution I have it set to. Maybe it just doesn't look that low. Or maybe it's just how the how some things render. Um, Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gosen, Slate, and Fieldspar. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would have never got off the ground. Oh, it's just like some special thanks. Credits. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of the solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. <laughs> they completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Addle Rock. Addle do, Addle Rock. Whoa. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Know My Text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified! Ah, uh, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Uh, no. Just here for the launch codes. Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out of space, but seriously, you gotta see this statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Makes me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Oh, I should probably move myself somewhere. Should I move myself somewhere? What's a good spot? Here, here. This is where I was for Oberden. All technical problems are unity. There's no good spots? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, I'll go here until it becomes a problem. At least it's not over the text, right? Bottom right has no UI, so well, okay. Let's try that then. Let's go to the bottom right and let's move you right here. Mm. Forehead only. Uh, check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? Okay, it looks like a space goat. Space goat. Coast to coast. Uh, this remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea what the species came from or what happened to them. They're the Chozo! Okay, look at this wall texture over here. Okay. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Space goat, coat to coat, yes. Mobius and Digital called out furries. Oh. Uh, this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. 
that's not text to them. This is. Let's see. Blurpity blurpity. Aside from the dwelling structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Did I? What did I do with that thing? Did I drop it? I don't know where I put that. Anyway. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in this... In our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we have to answer through further Xeno archaeological expeditions. Mm -hmm. I should turn my light off. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can't tell from their skulls, or we can tell from their skulls they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. It's kind of restating the same thing. Um, three eyes is pathetic. Kind of loser only has three eyeballs. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting, exciting and useful ways. It's like, so it's like real life, only uh, they have a museum for all the alien stuff instead of pretending that it doesn't exist. <laughs> for example, the little scout now boasts the warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Okay. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Girl Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out! Ah! Going full uh, manifold garden here. Same thing. Okay. It's a model of our solar system or something. I don't know. Okay, it's like different stars. Nothing unusual here. Stars they act like stars. What the frick? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adel Rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. All right. Seems uh, a little dangerous. These balls move on their own. It's hard to believe. The strange rock moving around in Scrato appears to react to conscious observation. The level headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gavro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it's observed. Whatever that is. Whatever's actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Okay. So there's going to be spooky space fish. Coming soon. Okay. Future side of our next exhibit. 
If you've enjoyed your time without a while, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the first three source solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you for your series. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. This is their uh, Please Buy Our DLC section. Alright. It just I need to pour myself some tea. Before my crusty old voice seizes up. Time for some tea. This is all very exciting. Okay. Feels weird to have the game updated and actually add new stuff. Red Bull and tea. I thought about mixing the Red Bull and tea, but then I thought, nah, that's an abomination. <sighs> I think I looked at everything down here. Let's go up. Frick. Well, the frickety frick, you say? Space. There's a weird thing right here. Whatever you do, don't go to the red dot. Yeah, I guess I run, am running at a pretty low resolution. It's just the anti aliasing is decent enough that I couldn't really tell. Hot lemonade. Sounds like uh, you're drinking your own urine. <laughs> Come here, peaches. Oh gosh. I must roll over your tail. Come here. Oh my gosh. You're not helping me pick you up. You're not helping me pick you up. Come here. <laughs> Is that American Lemonade? American Lemonade. Hot Lemonade? I've never heard of Hot Lemonade. I don't know what that is. That's not a thing. <laughs> okay. Hello, Hornfells. Well, there you are. I just finished pre-flight observations. and Local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with an OMI translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the OMI. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> Overwhelmed by uh, the options, perhaps? I don't blame you. If you need help getting started, you can go visit Esker on the moon. They're alone on the Outer Rock most of the time, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are, or why they were built. You could put your new translator tool through its paces. Well then, look like, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for lunch. I'm ready to die in space. Now, it must be the controller, because it just disconnected. It's either the controller or... No, it's, it's my fucking... USB port on my computer. Of course it is. Of course it is. Well, there we go. <laughs> Let's use this one instead. These front USB jacks are the worst. One of them already doesn't work. American lemonade is different to lemonade we get in the UK. Oh, okay. 
Our lemonade is more of a Sprite or 7-Up. Yeah, 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 Lemonade here is lemon and water and sugar. That's it. That's lemonade. <laughs> I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here's the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Finally, we got these dang launch codes. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. Alright. The universe is expanding. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to read every little note. Um, okay. How does I get back out of this room? Here we go. Meanwhile, you just don't like lemonade. Chips. Yeah. Ah! Don't look at me. No! Oh god. That's what I did. Nose. Stole my soul. <sighs> That's not creepy at all. So did you get a good look at that now, my statue? The statue looked at me and it opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue's doing what? So its eyes opened and you saw images from your own memories? Yeah, like five minutes ago. And glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfells. Tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gavro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know what island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gavro's, you know, Gavro, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Geez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck, and safe flying. Whee. I got the launch codes. I don't know whether it would be more stuttery if I turned up the resolution, but the fact that it's still stuttery is somewhat irritating. Did I talk to you earlier? Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? Yeah, um, Hornsfels said Felspar went into space and didn't come back. Hornsfels said Felspar was the best pilot ever. <laughs> but no one knows what happened to them. Uh, yeah, Hornsfels probably shouldn't tell you stuff like that. Hornsfels says that too, but if Felspar disappeared, he might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Felspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. Whee! Whee! Can we get out of here? It's like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Let's fucking go! said, can I have your stuff once you're gone? Once you're dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, it's just that like the the anti aliasing is generally good enough on some things, but not other things, and so like these things, the re the actual resolution becomes clear. I have to like get really close to actually read it. Let's uh, let's try going a little higher than. I don't really know what else to do. Don't really know what else to do. It seems okay though. Buy your map. Jumbo beans. <whistles> Let's freaking go. Try not to die. Yeah. Most of this planet is uninhabitable. Wasteland. I guess uh, they suggested I go to the moon. I guess I can go over here though. Oh god. Go. It's not even grass over here, it's just like a green texture. <laughs> That's weird stuff like that on small scale, it doesn't even render on PC, but then on console it does. Huh. I, don't, I don't know what you're saying. Closed due to fire damage. The old radio tower, while an important landmark, is unfortunately closed thanks to the unsanctioned flight testing of an extremely powerful model rocket. While we hope to repair the radio tower in the future, all construction efforts are currently focused on the planned museum expansion at the observatory. Mm. Sincerest apologies, except to Slate and Micah. smoke is rendered a bit weird. Let's get out of here. I gotta get to that moon. Come here. Come here to me, moon. Whoa. Got a decent amount of velocity here. suit on. The end. <laughs> Not the smartest of all space guys. <laughs> that kid's pretty happy, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> did did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? Still a cat sleep. That's a negative on being deceased. 
I know it's tradition to sleep out of the stars night before launch, but if you ask me, it just makes you all a bit jumpy. At least I got the oops, forgot the suit death out of the way. It's got her. <laughs> That's why that we we figured out why the uh why the statue uh gave us the shine earlier already. Just as an excuse for why I can respawn. I want to go back to the moon. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna find my ship here on the moon. That I crashed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That was almost bad. Come on, Lunar Lander. Let's go. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try not to die this time. What is this? Ship log. Now that's what that thing was. Yeah, let's get this crappy suit on. Get out of here. Whee! Alright. Now we should hopefully not die. Almost got the oops, forgot momentum. <laughs> yeah, I almost smashed into this thing. Can't see shit. Let's see, how much oxygen do I even have? Oh, there's a weird, uh, weird squiggly thing. It looks like a logo for my high school band. <laughs> Golf clap. I sort of landed on the side of this where there isn't anything, didn't I? Oh, this thing's a little weird. Is this where somebody else crashed their ship into the moon? Kind of low-res textures. What is this? Cyberpunk? <laughs> eh. Hey look, it's a flag. Alright. Probably should have uh, tried to land near something. Instead of just in a random crater. Okay. That ship's from the Alpha build. Oh, okay. It's uh, supposed to be a little uh, self-reference thing. Okay, so there's a huge crater here. With some things in it. Know whether any of this stuff is useful, but you know, might as well look. Uh, just giant crystals, man. Here's some things. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Green. I'd posit the outer rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. Refuel jetpack. I don't really need to yet. Honestly, the Alpha is, as you guessed it, pretty scuffed and bad. <clears throat> Most of the game design narrative is already on the Alpha, though, but this is just so much better. Interesting. Oh, 
Feels like uh, that's pretty much it for this little crater here. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see anything else. Not really. Maybe whatever that is. No, that's just another crystal. Here's a weird thing. What's inside of here? It's a spooky building. Whoa. Where do you want to put your orbs, man? Space Observatory thing. Okay. <clears throat> That's obviously. The sun, which is surprisingly not that bright for a sun. Let's go down here. Trees detected, oxygen tank refilled. Oh, okay. Just get next to a tree. Oh, God. Oh, that's kind of weird. Coleus. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. The eye signal. Okay. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giant's deep and brittle hollow. Okay. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Huh. I see. Most likely... Oh, this is somebody else. Felix. I see. Most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. This is somebody else. This is another person. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye is what brought us clan. Brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Ship log updated. Hmm? Put it in the hole. Oh god. So much text in this game. Uh... <clears throat> Thatch, where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. <clears throat> Anona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay. The Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I can construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conway would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Okay. So much stuff. So much stuff! So much text. <clears throat> okay, wow. Wow. I 
seen this ruin in other travels, travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. Yeah, I figured that out. You can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole, but I'll so I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. I guess somebody else had that idea. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Somebody else had that idea. Which means it probably wasn't an idea. Probably wasn't a good idea. Because they're probably dead. Whoever it was, I can't remember. I, I didn't check. So, uh, did they even, did they say? No, they didn't say either one. But I think it's whoever it was who disappeared that they mentioned earlier. Most likely. Most likely. This thing looks curious. Okay. So, I guess I... I guess I'm supposed to go there, to the south pole of the Brittle Hollow. Now I can look at myself in a suit. Spiky donut. Yeah. Is that the, uh, is that the eye? Is that the thing that, that never quite finds its, its way? about that thing, though? That thing looks peculiar. take a brief break. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Research break. See you soon. Okay. Uh, 
like this put this on uh um hold on I'll put this on this again that's why it looks so low frame rate it's totally not necessary and it's also overexposed or it was overexposed now it's okay <sighs> okay. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Enjoy. I figured that out. Meow. Okay. I don't quite know what this means. <clears throat> Rebeck headed to. Brittle Hollow to investigate something. No, my, we're doing it South Pole. Okay, yeah. This is your story tracker. cave back there or something. Is there anything else on the moon that I missed that's worth looking at? Don't know. Oh god. Don't run from me, Mr. Moon. Hello there, Esker's signal scope log. J48, still not picking up Rebeck's banjo from Riddle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listened to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. It's probably nothing. No, it's back in today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy. Oh, if I try to try to look, it moves to the edge of the screen. Ah! But the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. The Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be then. It's still here. This is creepy. Making my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. stars exploding out there.
there's some trees on the moon. Oh hey, it's you. He doesn't need a he doesn't need a suit. Seems a little weird. Aaron Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Where's the where's the Why don't you have a suit on? Oh, because he's next to the trees. Ah that makes sense. I guess it does make sense because the suit can fill up with the trees. the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro, and you know how Rebeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, is there anything else you wanted to ask? Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your mini map, but the Outer Rock is a pretty strong, pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Uh, okay. They're there next to the other trees. If you stay here long enough, you will become a tree. I guess I might as well re refuel the jetpack, but... So the red one's the North Pole. Oh, so this was the North Pole. Oh, God. Okay, I see, I see. I see how it is. That's the camet. I'm also silly Billy for pointing out gender neutralness and then calling one of them he. I feel like I've looked at everything on this moon. Although I'm not sure. One of these days I'm gonna smack into something else doing that. But... Let's go look at that weird swirly thing. Is it all possible? Now that's where this music came from. I think 
Michelle has it on the end of her streams or whatever. Oh, there we go. I hit B twice. I got a little confused. Mysterious thing. More mysterious things. Yeah. Did I die? I ran out of oxygen. I'm not sure why I died. I think I ran out of oxygen. I was not paying enough attention. I guess I ran out of oxygen. I don't know. It didn't say, uh... You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. You're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Whee! I'm in a time loop. Doesn't matter how you die, you'll run out of oxygen anyway. Usually goes along with the whole being dead thing. Well, I know, but I just I wasn't I I was like, I mean that's happened to me playing Subnautica also, or I've been like, what what's going on? And then I'm like, oh, I just died. But I think I ran out of oxygen, but I'm not sure. Whee! Okay. Uh. What do we got here? Oh, we've already been there. I don't think I really learned anything from looking at that thing. What was that? Oh, is that that little satellite? I guess it is. The weird crater here. I feel like we must go in here. Oh. I got hit by the that water there. So let's try to try to land this thing. Do I need my suit here? I don't know. I guess I'll just oh, that those particles are clipping through the ship. Uh I guess I'll take it anyway. Better safe than sorry. That's not what I wanted to do either. Mining site 2B. To be or not to be. Why would I say no to having a jetpack? Oh, that's true. Well, there are some trees over here.
So I didn't look at this door. Solve the puzzies. <laughs> Is a dead frog skeleton. I know a dead frog skeleton when I see one. Uh, star rocks. Still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Ash Twin. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we would, won't have destroyed their ability to create. Okay. They're sealing off. All entrances, I hope they planned accordingly. Oh, this translator, I guess, can translate puns. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? Okay. Elevator shaft here. Everything goes back to the witness. Huh? What about the witness? What about the witness? picture of that. The door to the mines. Oh, okay. Ash twin projection. Uh. What? supposed to see there, but it's a little weird. There's another little spot over here. Maybe I'll put it in here. See what we end up with here. Totally normal. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? My gratitude for the latest shipment. We know. <laughs> This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Ugh. Once we've finished the shell, the shell that uh, seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rainy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I will be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Okay. This is not really 
really sure what the other thing was. I guess I should go into the elevator. Let's go to the Wonk Vader. Maybe that's what you meant because I said Wonk Vader. It's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Okay, well. I don't know what the reasonable, most reasonable way to go down here is, but I guess I can just jump around wherever. That'll work. Oh, I. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, now. All right. <sighs> it's really freaking dark in here, man. This looks a little weird. This will take us back up. Okay. okay. Um, it's so dark in here. It's kind of, it's kind of the main annoyance. we learned kids I don't really know we learned something about some kind of ash twin thing and something that's sealed off Very peculiarly shaped holes in the walls. I guess that's pretty much it, though. Oh well. Let's go back up. Get the frick out of here. Where's my exit? So many dead people. Ah! Why isn't it working? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. It doesn't really work like that, I guess. Yeah, 
I'm having trouble getting out of here. <laughs> really cannot tell from here. I can't see anything, so. That's why I keep going down here. But I was just trying to freaking use the jetpack to help me. jump. Yeah, the whole, the, the jump is, is kind of weird. I, I'm not, I'm not sure why that was chosen necessarily. Wondered if we could refuel here. I figured we could. So what was with the other thing? Is that just over here? Oh, my daddy, oh. My dereliction of duty. Don't have freaking uh, Simon from Cracking the Cryptic play this game, because he'll really barf. Everything becomes intuitive after a couple hours. Hey, Piat Uh I mean, I wouldn't hasten to call it the best game ever made, but I'm playing this game. There's a weird thing. Anything at all down here. Doesn't look like it. I guess I only get like one boost. That's what it seems like. Not quite sure how that works. I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's anything particularly here. Let's get back out of here. You can honestly disencourage dis encourage setting up expectations in case that may sour the streamer's experience things are wrong first second simon instantly passes out yeah um yeah i mean when people say something's like the best game ever made then you're like okay when does it become the best game ever made It definitely has a kitchen sink design approach. I, I don't know whether that's good or not. But it definitely seems to have that. Got a lot of a lot of little doodads and nonsense in it. There's a weird hole. Let's go in the hole. land in this witness puzzle here. DDLC. 
I don't know what DDLC is. I think I would make a claim about any video game that it's the best game ever made. <laughs> that water rendering looks a little weird. Is there anything at all here? I feel like I'm gonna have to get some kind of better flashlight because this game is dark as shit. <laughs> Unless I need to go tweak some gamma settings or something. It's an experience. Maybe get your mod to check it out sometime so they can say whether it would be suitable stream game for you. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club, I, uh... Okay, well, thanks for saying something, out of goat, and have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sort of wandering around, but I'm not sure if there's a thing up there. I think is it supposed to be so dark that I can hardly see anything? Except with the flashlight. <laughs> yeah, I just had to mod somebody who played the game. So that if somebody knew, knew something with spoilers, they could maybe catch it before. Or I did. So far, things have been fine, though. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. We've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it. But hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Okay. I guess I should have used the scope to maybe track down that signal. I can. The caves were very dark, but the forest wasn't too bad. You can see okay on stream, maybe it's a monitor darkness thing. Let's see. What is there? Whoa! That is way brighter. Like more than a little bit brighter. We'll go with that. That's that's somewhat better, in my opinion. Yeah, I can actually see stuff. Although the sun's coming up at the same time, so it may be a bad time. Yeah, I've got the little uh, this thing. Okay, that does put out a lot more light. What am I even looking at? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm supposed to use this, is why the, this puts out so much light. That's good to know. It's me! Your boy. <laughs> well, we 
know what the next video game feet pick of the week is gonna be. <laughs> okay, let me get rid of this thing. Yeah, they clearly want me to use this, right? That makes sense, but it still is better with this gamma. Did it change it on the stream, or does it look okay? Hey, steel fishies. Oh, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Do I always die? Am I dying? I'm just stuck in a time loop. I see. We have to fucking, uh, uh, 60 minutes is shit or whatever. How far did I get? Got through any planets. Went to the moon. Poked around. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're Majora's masking it up in here, is what we're saying. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure out, uh, how I can track when I'm gonna time loop. Pre-fight checklist. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button press or anytime upward thrust is used. Oh, yeah. We want that on all the time. That's fine also. Freeze time when translating text. Let's see. Freeze time when talking to others. Yeah, let's freeze time whenever we're like talking to people, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're, so we're Majora's masking it up in here. Which I guess is good. I like Majora's Mask. Don't really know where else to go. I guess there's more stuff on this planet, maybe. Oh yeah, we were gonna look for something back in that Back where we were, right? Somewhere? I don't even know. It was somewhere over here. Don't know where it is. Here? Is this the crater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is where we were. Oh god. Oh, okay. This little options menu. Here. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna put my suit on, because I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Whee! So, there's supposed to be... Just what's his face whistling on the moon? Uh, thought there's supposed to be like a weird signal in here or something, right? Can I use this to find the signal? Okay, so we went up here and read this thing, right? Yeah, this is much better, uh, turning that gamma up just a little bit. It was like way too dark. Gaussian double speech mode. Somewhere within the grove, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I gotta look for this. Let's 
sleep. Yeah, we'll see, uh, I guess, when it's night time again. I'm gonna find signal nearby. But where? Where is the unidentified signal? Do I know where it is? Is it this weird rock? Does it disappear when I look away? It does. Is it the firefly? Shade across old arc. What the frick? What is this? Is this freaking Starseed Pilgrim? What's gone? Shuffled them around. So we've got Got a bunch of magic teleporting trees here. Don't quite know what. Obviously a witness puzzle here. Ignoring that. I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of it. I don't know if it means anything yet or if it's just spooky. That thing really doesn't move if if the camera's looking at it either, right? Only I get rid of the camera, then it can move. Swiss rock. That is true. Yeah, now we're back to nighttime, right? It's still better, though. Before, I, I like, really couldn't see anything. It was like outside of where my flashlight was. I was like, I can't see shit. I don't really know what to do with this, so I don't know. I do know we spent a lot of time 
just doing that. <laughs> oh, I see. There's a little thing there for the thruster. Didn't know how that worked. Jump in on my ship. It did feel weird that the, the crash one on the moon still had, like, shitty old texture on it or whatever. Low rent. Okay. I gotta take a real quick break again, kids. Hold on. Research break. No, too much Red Bull tea. Oh. My back hurts. My back. My spine. What did I do with that thing? I don't know. I do not know. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry, no, I, I dropped it. It's uh, my uh, hot pack, hot pad, or whatever you want to call it. You gotta heat it up. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know how much time I have, probably not much. That's where they want me to go, all right. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be scary there, though. I smack into the probe. Can I can I keep up with the probe? I can. What is this one? Whoops. <laughs> I did not maintain velocity here. Some weird geysers. Huh. 
little smoke there. What's this? Let's go to this. Oh, there's another little thing there. That thing's moving really quickly. Back here. <laughs> Should have kept an eye on the sun, probably. It's <laughs> not warm enough. <laughs> oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Um, yeah, hopefully not. I'm trying to treat my spine here. <laughs> well, at least you got the oops, I forgot the sun existed. I still don't know if this is warm enough. Old man spine. It's because I have this shitty ass chair. <sighs> okay. Probably lean back. It's it's better for your back. All right, let's get the fuck off of this rock. Wee. Trapped in a time loop since the dawn of time. Put on my suit. Get ready to die. Okay, let's try it. Let's try this again. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Guess I'll just hang out with uh with Esker here. I'll just um I'll just wait out the end of the world. <laughs> oh. hmm. The interpoper. And then there's this thing. Pair this fucker. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's nice. What else is fucked up? I don't know. We're gonna have to. <laughs> gonna have to get out of this tree first. I don't think there's anything wrong with this shit. I think we could fly this bad boy. Let's get over to that other planet. We can fix it there. It won't be a problem, I'm sure. Whee! It's on the far side of the sun, though, which is a little bit... ...distressing. Let's see if we burst into flames.
Oh. Momentum. <laughs> Come on now. It went a little too fast. Okay, this time we're going to try to keep the sun in view and, like, not, maybe, crash into it. I gotta get pretty close before... Well, actually, I don't even know if it'll let me do that now that I broke my ship so much. God dang it. Alright, let's try to, like... <laughs> let's try to do this. <laughs> Except, uh, go outside the ship. That's good enough, right? What else we got? This looks like it needs to be repaired. enjoyable when I don't care about shade safety. <laughs> it's like Curl Space Program. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice a few hundred Kerbin <laughs> if you want to get anywhere in life. Whoa. That looks weird as hell. <laughs> Let's go down in this rock. <laughs> I felt like, uh, the beta version of Kerbal Space Program was a lot better than the final version. Because so I, like, played that, the beta, and I, th I liked it, so I paid for the game, and then I didn't play it till it was done, and then I thought, this game's not as good as it was. They added, like, too much shit to that game. There's something up there. I'm a little scared about this hole. There's something up there, though. the cacties. Hmm? I'm wandering through this cave. What is this unidentified signal? Is it these things? I don't understand. Oh, it is these things. It just didn't show it until I had... <coughs> I got the thing. Ah! That's why I punctured my suit. Ah! 
It's moving around. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need my, uh, scout here to start looking around so this stuff doesn't move so much. <laughs> this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. It's like that weird pickup line. <laughs> Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the Northern Lake Bed Cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Melloray and I went back to the Lake Bed Cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, it's, sometimes it isn't. That means the rock wanders like the Quantum Moon does. I'm curious. I have this the the scout looking at them and they won't move. Oh this guy still moved though. Oh I need to have the I need to have I need to look at it. <laughs> right? Right? Oh I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the ceiling. Oh, shit. There we go. This is what I gotta do. Oh, there was a little thing on the... ground, though. Didn't read this. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. Oh, how do we... Oh. The one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Oh, it says in the center of the screen. What do you know? Uh, I just couldn't read it because there's a thing there doing all kinds of weird shit. Uh, okay. One bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. I guess I gotta go there. I guess I already was there earlier. Several days ago, when I would find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. Oh, let's go there. Let's see what happens to us. Does the ship's log uh, survive our death? I don't see how it would. Gotta... Oops, I gotta get back to the ship. Where is the ship? I don't actually remember where the ship is. Oh, it's over there. Live dangerously, that's what I say. Oh no. Oh, that's not the ship. Where's the ship? Are oh, the ships over this way? I don't think we're gonna have enough oxygen. Maybe. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're solid. Oops. Ah, oh, you know. It's just a little death. <laughs> keep all our stuff or no? Oh, it does. It's quantumly entangled. Alright. Got a few things. Close call. We're gonna die anyway, so. Oh, yeah. What about that one, though? Oh. It doesn't seem. I don't think you wanna to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> Whee!
at where our where our fine furry friend is. Ow. Oh, okay. So if I don't want the animation to freeze when I'm talking to him, I have to turn that thing off, I guess. Hmm, oh, it's you. I take it. I take it your first launch went well, then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mine's the sand now. What are you up to? <clears throat> Maybe I don't want it to freeze time, then. I don't know. Uh, Hornfells knows our star chart's out of date, so I came here to update them. But something seems, uh, how to put this? Oh. I've seen, what, 10 supernova by now? 12? Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, these stars are blowing up. They're in the double digits now. That's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. So maybe this, maybe our star blows up. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's why I keep dying. If you want to read everything out loud, maybe leave time present is worth it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, eh. It gives me, it gives me an opportunity to have the game paused and I can look at chat or I can, whatever, I can read this stuff. What oh, was well, there something you needed? Oh, there's so much stuff. I found something. Found your notes about the Adel Rocks main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. Uh, the planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there is no such planet now. In its place is Dark Ramble, which, how do we put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Ramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flying across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. Now, let's see. Why are so many stars going supernova? I have no idea. Massive stars go supernova when they reach the end of their lifespan, so it's possible that the stars are older than we realized, or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun. No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Yeah, the, uh... I don't know, my guess would be our little quantum planet thing is jumping around and jumping into stars and blowing them up. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what are you doing out here? Well, I was, that is. I originally came out here to update our star charts. Now, though, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the stars. There are so many, too many supernova. Supernovae. Supernovae! Why are so many stars dying out? Never seen anything like this. Frankly, I'm worried and a little scared. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scouts, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. I know my ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the tins, but twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once. A little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Huh. Shot for the stars. I mean sand. I didn't ask him about it. What are you up to? Oh, no, I did. I did. Never mind. I already did that. Alright. So how are we going to know... When this bad boy's gonna blow up. I 
don't know. There's no way of knowing when this thing's exploding. Hmm. Well, we do know that there's supposed to be a uh, signal nearby. the wrong thing. Hmm. What does it mean that there's a thing nearby, though? It says there is. sand is literally moving. Oh. Well, that's not going to be much use. Buried sand, is it? Hmm. So maybe I can't access the thing if it's under the sand. But if sand's moving for, to here that, to that extent... Oh god. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get out of here. Maybe we should go to the other little rock. Supposedly there'd be less sand there. Everybody is just like paralyzed with the the fear of spoilers, right? So they're just not saying anything. <laughs> Um, I got some part of this that's damaged, but... Okay, so... I gotta get... onto this one, right? That's what we're trying to do. I think. Oh god. Oh my daddy. Let's see, can we get... Right. 
Shrinky dinky, buddy. This thing's fixing to blow. This thing doesn't look so good. to expect over here. Whoa. SpaghettiOs. Thing is, you watch so many people play this game so many times you have it ingrained in your head. Just enjoying watching the experience. Oh, that's good. You're like, you're like, uh, 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 JM with the witness. Oh. JM just makes puns all the time when people play the witness now. Because he's watched so many people play it. Do you want me to link the Discord community to watch the game? Oh, you're talking to the laser pointers. Yeah. We're a little close to the sun here, aren't we? Another one of these weirdos. our first delivery. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I am deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the tower's being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose, more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Oh, I'd be happy to explain our findings. <laughs> Yara, stop using the scroll while to flirt with my sister. Romantic matters. Her density rivals the neutron stars. Go meet her on the White Hole Station. Wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my finished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. So this song start playing when I when I'm fixing to die. Is that what this is supposed to be? This is the signal that I'm about to fucking get nuked. <laughs> now let's get outside so we can watch the sun blow up. Oh god. I feel like the sand draining off of this is some kind of indicator as well. it blow up. Can I watch it blow up? Can I only blow up when I'm not watching it? Here she goes. Whee! Just getting sucked in. Yeah. Let's see. Oh.
Oh. And every time we're looking at something that gets fired off that way. Seems like it's probably important. what it is, but we're definitely seeing something get fired off that way from some things. Where are the things? Oh, they're, they're, they're around this thing. I guess let's fly out to that. get towards it. Okay. Sub-channel page. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh fuck. No, no! <laughs> I almost crashed into this water tornado. Right, let's get out of this freaking thing. <laughs> that wasn't what we were going for. We we're trying to go for this thing. <laughs> Weather forecast tomorrow. Yeah. Oh god. Come on now. Not very good at gauging. Uh, Spatial uh, orientation here. It was definitely a little bit of a surprise there. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's try to get in on it this time. Possible? I don't even know what this is. It looks like a blowed up ship or something. I was just kind of thinking about the game. Um, probe tracking module. Yeah, so this thing... I don't know. I guess it fired off a probe or something. Either way, it's like blowed up. Benny got blowed up. Huh? My flying landing is already pretty good for new players. Sight all the tents to the land. Nose first. Um... Why would I say that is? Well, I played a lot of Subnautica, so that's one thing. And it's not too dissimilar. Uh, other than, I guess, you maintain your velocity. Uh, thanks for the follow, Min Marty, but maybe you're just one to chat. Can I, can, I, can I make it through this hole? Seems like no. I did not mean to actually shoot that thing out anyway. Hmm. Hello. Welcome. This is, uh, no spoiler mode. That's why we have that set up that way. Because I, uh, know basically nothing about this game except for the few hours that I've been playing it. Sorry for bouncing around here. What, what does this say? Got 
gravity. Okay. <clears throat> it's definitely a much better technical implementation than, <laughs> than Subnautica, which I do like Subnautica a lot, but that game's kind of a technical mess. I have bad news, Avens. Yero says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they could fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. This game has its quirks at times. I mean, to me, it's fairly technically impressive that it works as well as it does. Um, an update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She feels Idea may feel responsible. Um, so the other one we picked up and there was like a little thing here when we put it in here. Oh, here we can actually see something, though. Huh. The other one, it was just nothing. So I'm guessing the other thing was like destroyed or something. Now let's just leave that there. There is an hour-long dev diary style thing on YouTube you feel I would enjoy once I beat the game. Okay. Oh, there's a thing over here, though. Launch module projection stone. Probably read this one as well. Okay, what are we gonna see here? Oh, uh, yeah. Because we couldn't go through that door, right? There's a thing in there. Can I? So, so we want to we want to go fly around and get that thing and plug it in, I guess, right? Oh, I can just put this down anywhere, I guess. Now watch it before I beat the game. It gets all the pesky gameplay out of the way for you in just an hour. Oh. Hello, my better 50%. Kasaba is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. set on this, uh, this layout here. Oh. No kitty cam for you. I guess I could just do this, though. I could just do this, and then you can... Oops, that's not the right thing. What is the right thing? That is not it. Oh, we're at the bottom already? What? Oh, we are on this one. This one needs to be extended up. Then I can... Just kitty camas. Kitty cam. Okay. Shh. Kitty cam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Sawa tells me he tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. 
Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand gives the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Yeah. She likes sitting up here. Um... Spoiled cat. Oh. Okay. Something was very flashy. So I want to go around to the other side and get that thing. Is there anything on the ceiling? Excuse you. Sneezing on me. Oh god. Oh, okay, it's like a little elevator or something. I see. Doesn't look like there's anything here, though. Or maybe there is, but. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> something going on here. I don't know what it is. Hmm, no. Ah, there we go. Structure or pro can and structure compromised during launch damage multi modules detected. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Oral probe cannon launch press receive probe launch. So, yeah, somebody launched the probe. That's what we saw at the start. Okay. Excuse me. Come back here. I gotta see what this said. Back up now. Hey, what do you want? You got food? I don't want to be up here if I'm not going to pet on you. Is that what it is? Peaches is very needy. <laughs> Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. 11 minutes, 16 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. I see. Huh. Okay, so we got one more thing. <laughs> I know you're gonna die if you don't do this thing in time. Severe structural stress detected, assessing damage to modules. Intact, no structural damage. Viewport window fractured, module exposed back in space. Okay. So, yeah, I need to go around and get that thing. Oh, shit. Bro. Okay. 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 Alright. It's kind of hard to fly around a, a thing. There we go. Open the baby's diaper. <laughs> I didn't read the bottom one. Okay. Is it that important? <laughs> I think I'm coming back to this room anyway, aren't I? Because I gotta go get the little thing. So 
so. Assuming I survive long enough. Honestly, can't remember. Okay, so I have to go outside. Clearly. And go around. Ow. Right? Probably get back to the ship, to be honest, though. Because I've used a lot of fuel. I don't want to get stranded. Alright. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fuel up here. Fuel up, buddy -o. Uh Somewhere around this thing. Not sure which module, but... One of these. Or maybe it... Maybe it totally got wrecked. Ah! No! We're adrift! We're adrift! We're adrift! <laughs> there we go. Well, we used most of that fuel anyway. Let's like not park this thing over the hole, maybe. That might be nice. I don't know. Nah, let's not worry about it. Let's just try to. I don't know where that thing is. I have to be honest, I'm not quite sure. Because it's a piece of this. this side. I should probably turn my flashlight on. That would be helpful. Yeah, this looks good. Dad, stick it in here. I guess I didn't have to go back anyway. What am I looking at now? Oh, I'm just looking at the other one? Well, what the hell? Okay, I guess I can still read what's on this, though. Oh, what? This is the same thing. Including our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. My love. I am confused. Did I just like fly around and go in the same place that I was in? Or no, because this one's totally busted. That's not the case. I appreciate that I can move that. Oh, okay. Weird. I guess it's just the same message and it, it's branching off in a different thing. Okay. Uh, that confused me. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. Oh, no, no, this is the same thing. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Weird. What does that mean? I'm not really sure what that means. 
What do we got here? Probe tracking module. Oh. What did I do? Oh, I stuck it on the ground behind it. <laughs> Imagine. Privet, the probe tracking module, will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. He'll be the first to see them. Honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital pro cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Oh, it blew up, for sure. Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital pro cannon's structural integrity slightly? <laughs> yeah, you know. You'd think I'd be able to see into the fourth dimension with those four eyeballs. Um... I would mind, Mallow, I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Hmm. But the probe tracking module did get destroyed, right? Or no, it didn't. Where the hell are we? Are somewhere very creepy. And there's one of these guys. Huh. Where could it be? side of this hole. Not really. Hmm. Well, we learned a thing or two about a thing or two. So that's nice. Oh, I was going to say earlier, um, I was thinking about the game design in the standpoint of the time loop thing. And that it solves a similar problem for this game that the survival mechanics do in Subnautica. Which is limiting your ability to just do whatever, right? It, it, it gives it that kind of cycle feel, right? Uh, obviously, in, in that game, it's, it's a totally different type of cycle, but it's still... It's like you can't just go forever, right? Because you, in that, you have to eventually worry about your dying. And in this, you just, uh, the, the, you, you gotta start over. <laughs> so it gives you a sense of pressure, time pressure, and also, like, I don't know. I don't know. It makes it feel less like you want to loiter around. Well, let's go into the note planet here. See if there's anything in here. I like that's on a scale of one to death is pretty high. That thing looks a little weird. Pressure to get things done, but also assurance there's no rush. Yeah, 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 similar type thing. I mean, this, this actually, you know, it has that without having the cost of fear of loss, although the fear of loss plays a good role in Subnautica, so it's, it's not less that that's necessarily bad. Oh, ghost matter, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
and so far they've intrigued me with the mystery, which is kind of the main thing. It was the thing that uh, the, the Subnautica sequel failed to do. It was really intrigued me with the mystery, so it was more just exploration in that case. And what were the things that I was going to run into. Which is obviously, in and of itself, interesting, but... blow up. <laughs> I can read this, it freezes top. Uh, entry whatever, crashes two, boring crashes zero. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core, consider yourself conquered. Giant's deep, you just got felt spars. Am I still gonna get blowed up? I'm still gonna get blowed up. <laughs> Not, I'm not allowed to read stuff after the thing blows up. I guess it doesn't allow me to freeze time. I think it does freeze time, it just doesn't allow me to not get blowed up if that's already started. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good, that's good, because I was going to say this is kind of a cheese thing to be able to do that. You kind of want to have that moment where somebody finds something and then they're like, oh, now i got to go back there because I got blowed up. But yeah, so that thing's firing off that probe or whatever. Obviously I need to chase the probe down at some point. Can't even see the probe. Chase the probe. Chase the probe. We gotta get the probe. Probe's probably faster than I can go. I'm gonna try though. It's going so far. Can I chase the probe? Sorry, my phone battery died or something bad happened. I'm not allowed to... Hey, right. I want to keep going. That's just a probe. It's just a probe. See if I can get close enough to it. Hey, eh. hey, hey, you! <laughs> it's hard to follow this probe. It's so little. Velocity did not work very well. Oh my gosh, peaches. <laughs> <laughs>
text box and he's going to move it up there. Okay. All right, peaches. Everybody's, 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 uh, you've worn out your welcome. They're no longer excited to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get to this probe. It's like, where is it going? Get far enough away, all the everybody's music plays together. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, we gotta fly back very slowly because this probe is going really far away, and uh, I don't really want to follow it the whole time. Oh, it did give me an achievement. I just don't, I don't have screen capture on. In any, in any case, it would have been at the bottom right. So. Way to get back. Kill myself. Killing myself is a quick way to get back. For sure. Isn't it? Isn't it, Peaches? Death solves all of life's problems. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see. I guess I need to go back to this planet. I guess I can't really go there, can I? So far, the unknown becomes a negative number. Bro! <laughs> our little guy's island. Might as well. Make sure you wear your suit. And if there are trees, you can't trust them. Yeah, I don't know where this unidentified signal is, but... Oh, 
Uh oh. Goals matter. Well, that's no good. Oh, here's our buddy. Gabriel. Yeah, nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this pretty well. Ha, huh, back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before, this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they'll never remember it by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it would seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. That happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness? I think that's going to be my leading theory, but if you find out anything new about statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you, you know? <laughs> Who Kitty thinks I'm talking to? Oh, she don't care. I talk to myself all the time anyway. Because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bugged? Is it bugged? No, it seems fine. Nothing seems bugged to me. How space treating? Uh, what should I say? What should I, where should I explore on Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. Oh, yeah, I, I already saw that. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. I feel like checking out Statue Island is the one with two islands connected by a natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected. Anyway, you'll see. What is up with this planet? Haha, <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you mean like tell you more about it. I gotcha. Well, Giant Steep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways below the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current. Neither idea worked. <laughs> As for land masses, I counted four islands including this one. There's also the one with that Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless the cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. Haha, <laughs> that would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Alright. Fair enough, fair enough. Just trying to make sure I wasn't going to die if I walked through this hole. Whee! Oh, this planet has a lot of gravity. Just realized. Yeah, right. Time to fly around. Yeah. I feel like that's, like, the main thing that the... I don't know keep thinking about the Subnautica sequel and how it had land stuff and it was just kind of like a thing where I was like I wish they didn't <laughs> I wish that they didn't oh god a lot of stuff over here Uh, I mean, my, my theory there was, was always that, like, Subnautica was always able to get away with 
being a little bit janky in some weird ways because it did things that other games didn't do, right? It was like mostly piloting around underwater in a way that it did that part really well. But then when you do the land stuff, it was like, well, there's loads of games that had done land stuff, and then this game, get, you compare it to those, right? You think of, you end up thinking about... Oh, shit. Should have probably thought about that. Might just be able to barely make it. So you end up thinking about stuff like that, and then, like, compared to those, it's like, well, this doesn't feel very good. Although this feels better than that, so... So that helps. Statue workshop. Hmm. Some like crystals there. Oh, it's the statue. The statue. Oh. Okay. I start to feel like I guess the through line is uh, between people who maybe like this and like The Witness and maybe also like Subnautica is just liking exploration and like mystery and that kind of thing. But obviously this is... I don't know. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flox specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test, too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. Curiosity. It's definitely not a game I recommend to friends who only play sports games and COD. Yeah. Curiosity. Maybe that's fair. Oh my god. <sighs> gravity. It's so much gravity. Suck the island into space. <laughs> yep. Oh, now we're back. <laughs> well, that was interesting and unexpected. Another one of these things. Welcome to a giant steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below. Inside the island. Let me get over this wall. figured that out yet. I guess once I figure one of these out, I'll kind of have figured out all of them to a certain extent. Which is probably
probably good. Inside the island. That island's moving along at a rather high clip. some way into there. Can I? Nah, that way might be useful. Maybe not. No. Maybe I can go from underneath. my ship end up? Okay, it's still over there. It's a good thing I put it on that little uh, spot, right? <laughs> oh, it still got tossed a little bit. It still got tossed a little bit. I guess it needs to be on that pad specifically. I don't want it to get tossed around. <laughs> Not that I need the ship right now, but... Oh dear. Ah! Well, let's just try to go underneath here, because... sort of looked like... Could go up underneath. Yeah. Tell you the water in this ain't nearly as nice as in uh, Subnautica, but the other stuff is, is good. There's not much going around in water. There's just a water planet. Can I open this? Oh, I can't. Cool. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. So weird, I, I'm not sure what to make of them. Euro, would you kindly step back so that Daz is close to the statue? When pairing the statue, we'll choose whoever's in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He's outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomize memories to his or her storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomize. Okay. Got a cat here swirling around me. That's probably why I sneezed. What about this thing? It's just a tornado. I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that. These are for? Ah, uh, yeah. 
little stasis fields to ride out the tornado. That makes sense. God only knows where my ship is now. <laughs> Installed masks inside the Ash Twin Project. Phlox, they look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not appear until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment's failure. They will. Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Huh. So why did they all die? This is all very strange. Oh. Wait a second. Is this Ash Twin thing orbiting around a black hole or something? Or... was the island I was exploring a second ago. Oh god, can we... Yee! Well, we're fixing to blow up anyway, so... Might as well, uh... Might as well fly out to space so we can get a good view of the... thing blowing up. So that's our, uh... Outrun the supernova. And what have we learned today? Yeah, one minute. Oh. Okay. 
So I'm warped back at the point that something else is destroyed. Right. So it doesn't matter whether I actually die. Well, we've been playing for like four hours. I don't know if I, I might be done for today. Smoke looks nice. Doze off. What does dozing off do? Just let me pass time. Roast some marshmallows. I mean, this game is quite long. Yeah, well, no, I mean, I expected the game would... I mean, I don't know how long it would be. I expected it would be at least 20 hours or something, right? Do... Do I have VODs? I do have VODs turned on. Um, I'll look at the recording for this, and I may I may put it on YouTube also, since um, I don't think we had really many issues this time. It's not like Oberdin where like the recordings look terrible for Oberdin, and we had a whole bunch of technical issues with the streams and stuff. So, so I may put it on YouTube also. If people would want me to do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'll... I assume it auto-saves, right? Um... Yeah, I think uh, I'll put them on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have all the Oberdan recordings, and I may do something with them, but a lot of them look really rough because I had the settings wrong for the stream and stuff. Um, I, I think there's a link. Is there a link from the Twitch to my YouTube? I don't know. I have no idea. I was, I was thinking whether I should post that people uh yeah we'll definitely keep playing this this is uh interesting it's it's good already i wouldn't say it's reached the greatest game ever but i do like it um my initial impressions are that i like it more than i liked Oberdan, which might offend some people but it's just my personal taste i think Oh, thanks for the subscription. That's really kind of you. Thanks, Vault Games. Um, Amazon's money. Yeah, let me um, let me pull up uh, a link to my YouTube so that people know if they want if they want to look at the archives or whatever, because I'll probably post them there. Uh, how does this work? How does this work? I think there's some good, like, fancy link, but is this it? Oh, that is it. Okay. Uh, here you go. There's there's a link to my channel, um, so you can look at whatever there, which I do have other stuff there. Um, so I'll post that up uh, well, probably as soon as I can, so... Yeah, I should do that for the the, the bot. But uh, thanks everybody for joining. Um, sorry, my head's cut off. We still have it on kitty cam mode. Uh, what is there to say? Uh, obviously, if you if you stop by and you don't know that I'm making an uh, uh, open world adventure puzzle solving game that's sort of inspired by The Witness, 
I'm making a game kind of, that's an open world puzzle solving game that's sort of inspired by The Witness. It's called Taiji, and there's stuff about it there, and I'll post a thing here in chat. So, um, and I guess we'll we'll aim for probably next Saturday to keep going. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've recently buzzed all my air off. Um, I think we'll aim for next Saturday to keep going. I know that's a while, but I think it'll probably be okay with this game. So, Bonfire Peaks playthrough. I want to play Bonfire Peaks on stream also, but um, I uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess uh, I'll at least cut the recording off here, and then I'll stream for another minute or two while I ramble off. So, see you next time on the recording. Bye, everybody. <laughs>